So much for the rule of American law. Sustainable development is now official policy of the Supreme Court of the United States, too. You worry about bending the Constitution? Under sustainable development, they are just ignoring it. There has never been a single vote in Congress to create sustainable development. It's all done through cleverly rearranging wording of existing programs and budgets, using UN treaties as guidelines. It's all under the radar. Former Secretary, uh, Commerce Secretary Ron Brown told a meeting of the President's Council on Sustainable Development that his agency could implement at least 67% of the sustainable de development agenda assigned to his agency with no new legislation. That's how it's done. And that's why you've never heard a debate on such a radical transformation of our nation. Ronald Reagan once said about communists, quote, the only morality they recognize is what will further their cause, meaning they reserve unto themselves the right to commit any crime, to lie, to cheat. He could have been talking about today's international sustainable development movement. Sustainable development is the greatest threat ever perpetrated against American liberty. There can be no hope of living in a nation of limited government with sustainable development as the official pol government policy. The two are diametrically opposed. Americans would never concede their liberty to swastikas or hammer and sickles, but you tuck it all in a green blanket for environmental protection and we'll toss it all in the fire like a good old fashioned book burning. This is about totalitarianism. It's about controlling every aspect of our lives with decisions made by committees that will grow more powerful and more oppressive with each passing day and each new regulation proposed by newly empowered special interest groups. There will be no satisfying their lust for power. There will be no part of our lives that is overlooked or control, uncontrolled. Our homes, our food, our babies, our liberty. Group thought, group plans, group action is how the community will be organized. To defeat it, we must understand that it is free men operating in free markets, untethered by government regulations that allow us to find solutions to hunger, decent housing, superior medical care, education, overcrowded highways, and human happiness. We must understand that it is only bad government that causes poverty, overpopulation, and environmental damage. Totalitarianism, socialism, fascism, and almost every other ism are the root of suffering on Earth. The logo of sustainable development with its three concentric circles should be viewed by all who love liberty as the new swastika of our era. There is no greater threat to our way of life. Imagine agents coming to your home with that on their armband and you'll get the picture, the sustainable development logo. Sustainable development is anti-science. It is anti-knowledge. It is anti-human. It is anti-reason. In a nutshell, sustainable development is designed to throw out virtually everything that man has learned since the beginning of time. It is the creed of the mindless savage who seeks brute force over reasoned thought. And it won't, and if we don't learn of this evil now, if we don't heed the warning, if we don't rip it out of every level of government policy by its well-entrenched roots, then American life, indeed human existence as we know it, will enter a new dark ages of pain and misery unlike any ever experienced by the community of man. Sustainable development is being accepted by Americans across this nation because they are being made to feel afraid. They are afraid of urban sprawl and crowded highways. They fear that their communities will lose their local flavor. So they look for answers through the heavy hand of more government that same government that causes many of those problems in the first place. And the politicians are playing on that fear to give themselves more power, because that too is how sustainable development works. But it's an agenda that ultimately doesn't work, because government control of individuals is a bankrupt scheme proven a failure time and time again throughout history. And that's why it can be stopped. The key to victory is to first understand your enemy Know where he is headed, and you can cut him off at every turn. Americans must learn now that the promises of sustainable development is a lie to trick them into accepting mass government control of every aspect of their lives. Farmers must learn that selling the rights to their property through PDRs and conservation easements mean they lose control of their land forever. Their true enemy 
lies in government policies which keep them from earning a living off the land in the first place. More controls won't change their plight. It'll only make it worse. Communities must stop partnerships between private corporations and local governments from using the power of eminent domain to take private homes for their own gain. Under such power, no homes are safe. We are engaged in a battle for the American dream our founding fathers worked hard to guarantee. I feel they're watching us now. They knew one truth that we must all relearn very quickly. The only way to make sure that government doesn't abuse its power is to not grant it in the first place. We must stop sustainable development. Arm yourselves first with that knowledge and then step by step take your community and then take America back. Thank you very much. Yes.